Hey, social media. This is Tiffany Martinez. Hope you guys are doing more than fa fantastic wherever you are. I just wanted to show you guys the the new Billie Holiday "Lady Sings the Blues" album that I got on yesterday that I'm just playing today. Um, this is like my third, or no, it's definitely not my third. This is probably like my fifth um, version of this album that I have actually purchased. Um, excuse me, Magic. Excuse me. And I just wanted to show you the beautiful photos. Do not break the album. Thank you very much. Do not break the album. Thank you very much. You ever just be doing something and then, or not be doing something, and then as soon as you start doing something, one of your kids show up or fur kids, don't walk on, on Billy's face. Thank you. So, anyways, um, I just wanted to show you guys what was inside of this album. Like, she is just absolutely stunning. And I don't think I've ever said that about anyone, right? So, I just wanted to show you the photographs, right? For someone that was born in 1915, stop, mamas. That was born in 1915. Like, she just had her own style. Like, it's like she was just before her time. Even what people people may perceive as her worst, she was still the best. When people think think that her lifestyle was the like the, the worst of her time, you know. You know, you know, the judgmental people. She was still at her best. Um, like her style and everything was like just before her time. I'm looking at some of these hairstyles and stuff. I'm like, we were wearing that in like the late eighties, early nineties, things like that. And I just find that fascinating. And but anyways, um, you know, back to Lady Day, she is just absolutely just gorgeous. And like I said, I don't really say that about really anybody. Um, I never really been into anyone as in depth as Lady Day. Like, just she's just absolutely beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. What did I say about walking on her face and walking on the albums? My goodness. So anyways, you know, people like to, for instance, on every single album, there's always what people perceive as they're the, the, the story or the real story of Lady Day. And they always mention her past. They always mention, you know, when she first uh, was basically discovered and a little bit of before that. Really, only she knows her story and her mother knows the story. No one else really knows her story. And I mean, I really mean that. Only she knows her story and her mother knows her story and possibly her father you know, but no one else knows her story. And technically, you know, only just like myself, only myself can tell Tiffany's story. No one else can tell your story but yourself. And people are always quick to mention all the bad stuff about a person before they ever mention the good stuff. Anyways, I just wanted to show you these beautiful like absolutely beautiful pictures of her um tomorrow i'm gonna tr try to make um an audio recording of um god bless this child what number is that oh number one god bless this child um if you've never heard of it look for it in the billy holiday version not anybody else look for it with her singing it because she was I want to say the first one that sung it if she didn't sing it first Bessie Smith sung it first no one everyone else after them were basically duplicates they weren't the originals okay so like when you hear on the sunny side of the street and you hear people like Frank Sinatra sing it and a host of other people they are duplicates. They are not the originals. 
Lady Day and um, Bessie Smith, uh, Louis Armstrong, those are the originals. Everyone else came after she expired. And I'm using the word expired nicely only because I don't want my video taken down because this is just for her, you know. Anyways, you guys continue to do grand, continue to build your life and your legacy for yourself. If you have a job, that's okay, that's fine, that's wonderful. But you need to start paying yourself first. Um, I don't know if that song is on here. Well, technically, it is God Bless the Child. And some of the lyrics are, um, you know, Mama may have, Papa may have, but God bless the child that has his own, that means his or his or her own, right? Like your mother may have money, your father may have money, and you may hit him, you may be hitting them up for money, even as a kid or a teenager, but like it's kind of like their responsibility to take care of you. But Billy asked her mother when she this is this is Billy's story now, not my story, this is her story. She says that she asked her mother for money and her mother flat out told her no, and she's still a kid. And, you know, Billy didn't get upset. She said, so that's okay. You know, you know, well, God bless the child. That's what she said. And she went out there in the streets of Baltimore and figured out a way to make money. And I believe she said something in her book, like, um, that she was scrubbing the streets, the, not the streets, I'm sorry, the, the steps. And she made a few dollars like that. And then and you have to read her book, you know, um, and that's how she made her own money at first. Um, but then eventually she turned it into a song. She said that that was that sounded like a we would make a good song, and she she wrote quite a few songs. But that's the only one I can think of, you know, right offhand. Is God bless the child, and like I said, your parents could be wealthy as wealthy could be, but that's not that's their wealth, right? And I remember there was one episode on the Cosby show, and I still, I don't see it that much because I just don't have time to just sit there and just just do childish things as I used to when I was a kid and much younger. But um, I forget which, which Huxtable came home and they asked the dad or the mom for money, like, like $20. And they're like, hey, mom, hey, dad, can I have $20? Like, it was nothing, right? And, oh, and then I think it was Bill Cosby, you know, Cliff Huxtable. He says, no, your mother and I are rich. You guys just live here. And I'm like, ain't that the truth? It's like, you're, even though they were already successful, they already did more than their fair share by putting, you know, clothes on their back and food in their tummy and things like that. I'm pretty sure they had you know, birthdays, just like, in, just like anybody else, you know, they have all these extra things in life and that's wonderful. But again, God bless the child that has his own, because if you're born with that silver spoon in your mouth or like someone posted, they posted just because, you know, they were born with a silver spoon and you got a plastic spoon. It's like, you could still build on that. Your child could still build on whatever, situation you're in it was just a funny meme right um everyone comes from can come from a rags, rags to riches story um but if your if your parents start you off like basically building an empire for you and but they're not building it so you can be a snooty kid when you grow up they're building it so they are reserving a place in the future for you that's why they're doing that they're not doing it just so you could have the latest this and that they're not doing it you know so you can have the better car at school they they're not doing it for that they're doing it so you could have a place in society so you basically don't have to ask anyone for anyone for for excuse me for anything including a job like you know you can apply at thousands of jobs whether online or in person and no one really has to give you a job you're not entitled to that but your parents if you're listening to this you could be starting to save in gold and silver I didn't intentionally mean to mention that but it it is what it is you can start building a legacy 
for your children because you've always taken care of them. Why wouldn't you want that for your child when you're gone? And I would love to say something, but I don't want to say it because I don't think it's time for me to say it. But if you know me on a personal level, then you probably know what I'm thinking. And so I'm not going to say it, but it's not rude or disrespectful or anything like that. But, you know, um, I feel I feel very fortunate. I feel very blessed to be who I am. I'm just going to say it like that, you know, but I'm still all here you know, sharing my opportunity with you because I want you to have everything that you need and, you know, that your grandchildren and and whoever is important to you have everything that they need. So it's like be a part of something that's bigger than yourself. Be a part of something that's bigger than yourself because one day you won't be here to fend for your children. You won't be here to fend for your grandbabies. Life is so precious. Life is so short. This queen right here, she left the world at 44. 44. 44. I'm 45. This beautiful lady left the world at 44. She would have been around 103, 105. Around, and I'm just saying, like, if she would have been that fortunate to live that long. I'm just saying, she could, she could still be here. Possibly. You know what I mean? She didn't have to go at 44. But just imagine she had children and she was she was being a performer. She didn't have time to sit down to do her will. She didn't have time to get her affairs in order. She didn't have time to get her estate in order. And we're just just you know just regular common folk. We don't most people don't have an estate. Most people don't have a safe in their home. If they do, they barely have one gun and a little bit of ammunition and that's it. But they don't have no type of gold, silver, platinum, nothing except for what they wear on their neck. They don't have the kind that you can stack. So, if you're interested in doing this and saving in silver and gold and small, affordable increments. And like I said, I look at her story, and this is the only one that I feel connected to. I've heard many people. Like I said, I'm 45. Go to www.saveandsilverbythegram.com. And just check out the video. There's two options. Either you want to be strictly a customer. That's meaning you just save coins, uh, gold and silver. Or um, you want to be a wealth ambassador like myself where you save um, the silver and the gold. You know, that's automatic. Um, but you can also get free gold and silver. Also, um, you can help others at the same time. Like, there are definitely benefits in this. Um, I just posted a video just a few days ago, less than a week, where they sent me free silver. And I wasn't even expecting it. It was because of um, Christmas in July. Like, did you go to your uh, your bank or your credit union and you just happened to find extra free money just sitting in your account? I mean, you got to be honest with yourself. I mean, I've had plenty of bank accounts in my lifetime, and it ain't never once that I go there and just be extra money, just be sitting there all of a sudden. Never. If it was, it was just because I had uh, something that was returned, and that that was just credit, and I just forgot about it. But they, there's never been a bank in the history of ever or credit union that I was affiliated with that just gave me gold or silver. You're not not even as a sign up bonus. Not even as a sign up bonus. So if the people that are asking me to sign up for this and that, you know, you know, go check out this and that, 
if it ain't about gold, silver, or crypto, um, listen, Tiffany's just don't, just not interested because, mm, no, 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 thank you, no, gracias. I'm just not interested. I just didn't see it all, and just not interested. It is what it is, you know, and. There, 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 there are too many cryptocurrencies out there that are making people multi-millionaires overnight. And they are starting off at one penny. One penny. And that's the beauty of it. You put your money in a bank, let's say $10, $20, $50. You or whatever denomination you have in the bank, that's still going to be whatever the hell you put in the bank. It's never going to be worth any more. I mean, you may get six cents, but it's not. You're not going to blink and see that it's fluctuated and it's worth twenty five dollars more, a hundred dollars more, or a thousand dollars more. Anyways, this was primarily about Billy and just how much she was just beyond her time, just everything about her, like. Her style, her beauty. Her voice. And, you know, just last quick story. Even her voice. People would tell her that she could not sing. You know, that something... To, this, is, this is just a, just paraphrasing. That... She basically sounded. Who I think someone said this is this is ancient ago. This is years ago. Um, that you know who is she singing to? Like like mice, we can't hear her, but people go to hear her voice, and everybody's quiet. Everybody wants to hear her voice. She she, she is she is she was she was very unique, and people say you know she couldn't sing. Yet, she was selling out, you know, Carnegie Hall. She was selling out Carnegie Hall, time after time. Multiple countries. You know, the country, the, you know, the country, Hungary. There's, you know, Japan. Wherever, you name a country. People know who Billie Holiday is. They absolutely love her. I just recently purchased an album from over there, from, from Japan. And... I can't read what it says, and that's okay. But the the album plays obviously in English, but it's just the fact that they love her. They love her voice. I remember when I was a teenager, I would sing in church, and people would look at me like, like you know, you're terrible. I'm like, they told her the same thing. And she was the highest paid Melanite queen in from her time. She was making $2,000 a week. $2,000 a week for someone that told her she couldn't sing. Anyways, I have said more than I anticipated to say. <sighs> Take care of yourself. This world is beyond change. It's it's beyond change. But. <sighs> seek sanctuary for yourself. Ashe.